YouTube slash Patreon slash Fit Shoot. Today's video, I want to chime in with a quick impromptu video. And today's video, you know, um, we just going to dive deep into some topics. I don't have a set topic once again. Just getting off work. I'm just waiting on my ride and whatnot right now. You know, that's why I got time to make the video. And if it's like parts of the video where you hear cars and stuff, that's because I'm like right here by the side of the road uh, making this video. And yes, everything is all good. Like I said, I'm just waiting on my fucking ride, you know, traffic and whatnot. But anyway, um, so today's video, you know, um, I want to dive deep into these topics and whatnot. And um, in today's topics, you know, um, like I said, I don't have a set topic like I usually do. So I just pretty much want to just touch on like just where I've been like going at in these last few days. I've been kind of touching on like but how spirituality plays a big part in today's time. Because you got to think about it like this. Yesterday, I haven't been a whole 24 hours yet. But anyway, yesterday, I did a video and I was talking about how 30 years ago, if you was a person, male or female, whatever, you was talking about spirituality, you was talking about yoga, like the chakras and all this stuff, people would look at you crazy. They'd be like, um, this motherfucker insane, you know, this motherfucker high or something. You know how people always try to use the same stigmas and shit? That this person is high, this person is this, you know, this person is that. All that bullshit, right? Same thing. You see what I'm saying? They try to use the same fucking stigma every time. That this person is this. This person is that. You know what I'm saying? But as time goes on and as people and as people have had their own personal experience and they had experience as a whole. So for example, as a whole collective of humans, regardless of race, color, creed, just being a human, you know, people experience you know, other people in a whole, meaning that they in large social groups or gatherings doing whatever they may be doing. And then you got, you know, in, as individuals, as people, we experience our own individual reality. You know what I mean? We go through our own experiences and those experiences, whether they're good or bad, it's gonna help you grow. So as people went through their own experiences in a whole and as individuals, they were able to grow. And, you know, because a lot of people were closed-minded, just like what, how they was raised and how they was taught. You see what I'm saying? Some people was raised a certain way to do certain things, so they're going to kind of go off of that. But then again, sometimes you got to know and do your own research, and you have to discern and ask yourself, is what I was taught all my life is the truth, or is it a lie? Is what I've been taught all my life is the truth, or is it a lie? You know what I mean? Cause really, technically, this could be part two of the video I did yesterday. You know what I mean? Because really... Um, I wasn't even done with that topic. But that's really what it is. You have to really just go within yourself and ask yourself, is this shit true or is this a lie? You know what I mean? It, it, can I use this information that I've been taught in my life? Can I apply this? You know what I'm saying? And then you just got to find, like, you know, because as humans, it's always room for improvement. We always got room for improvement. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? So it's like, as you keep learning and keep expanding your mind, you're going to always still have room for improvement within yourself. You see what I'm saying? So as long as you got room for improvement within yourself, you're going to be good. You see what I'm saying? So you got to look at it like that. But everybody can't improve. Everybody can't expand because some people, they just like trapped within their own cells. They're trapped within their own body. You see what I'm saying? And this is a big issue, especially when it comes to mental health. And a lot of people... You know what I'm saying? They don't even take drugs. And that's the thing. Drugs can make these type of things worse. But a lot of people don't take drugs. And they still feel like they trapped inside their own body. They feel, feel like they trapped inside their own mind. See, that's a spiritual thing. You see what I'm saying? That's a spiritual issue that has, that has manifested into the physical form. So basically what that means is your soul, something deep within your soul not right. Something deep within your spirit not right. Your spirit knows that. And once your spirit knows that, your spirit will start to call out. And that call out will start to manifest in the physical form and come in the physical manifestation as you feeling trapped within your own body. You being paranoid, you having anxiety, you having, 
you know, mental health issues like depression and all that stuff. It all plays from that. Cause that that goes back to a soul level. You see what I'm saying? Like feeling like you're trapped. And then when people start to take drugs, and no, I'm not advocating the, the uh, use of drugs. I'm just giving an example. This is for educational purposes. So when people start using drugs, and remember, I'm not talking about plants or I'm not talking about uh, fungi or anything that grows naturally in nature. That's not a drug. It's been classified as a drug, but that's not a drug. I'm talking about shit that you mix chemically and you got to add this to it and stir it up and make the Powerpuff Girls and all that shit. That was a joke because if you ever watch the Powerpuff Girls, cinnamon spice, everything nice, you know, all those chemicals. But anyway, um, so yeah, like, you know, um, people start to take drugs to cope with what they're going through and the drugs makes it actually worse and these people end up actually killing themselves. You see what I'm saying? Real talk and that's sad. That's not funny, see? Mental health is a real thing. It's a real thing. Suicide is a real thing. That's that's it. That's that's a real thing that you really need professional help with. You see what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's just real talk. And don't feel bad. Oh, I look. I don't look cool because I'm getting help. I don't look cool because I'm going to the therapist. No, motherfucker, you don't look cool because you're not going to the therapist. Going to the therapist makes you cool. Not going to the therapist and reflecting all your problems and doing all this crazy shit that makes you not cool going being cool and actually seeking the help that you truly deserve now that's cool real shit wake the damn up and let these demons tell you otherwise see people want to purposely mislead you to go down the wrong path to send you straight to hell people want to purposely mislead you to send your ass straight to <coughs> excuse me to send your ass straight to death people want to mislead you so you can never get ahead of them you better wake up